Welcome to our space where talking about the inspiring things with inspiring people is what inspires us. Waiting for you here are the infinite possibilities that creation, collaboration and connection have to offer. A universe where we see everything through roasting the spectacles that help us to keep our faith in the power of imagination alive and well. And now, let's talk. Born in Nairobi and raised between Africa, Hong Kong, Germany and the UK, Julie Bloom is our guest today and we couldn't be happier. She's an artist that uh, her work tribute the possibilities, the diversification, the freedom of choosing different medias to convey different messages and not narrow down, not necessarily having to narrow down to commit with just one style. Her artwork, her body of work includes a very eclectic combination of um, pop, paintings, and a more figurative uh, kind of fine art language in painting as well, drawings, etchings, and not on top of all that, she has recently came out with a practice that she calls translations. And um, I'm very curious to know how she does to transfer words and emotions and a narrative that is with words in fascinating artworks almost instantly. So <laughs> she's going to explain <laughs> us how she does that. Okay. And um, of course, we're going to talk about all your artwork, Lovely. all your uh, personal universe that is so inspiring. Thank you, and, uh, Thank I, you. I love it. Thank you, <laughs> First of all, it's absolutely great to be here. I've always been stalking this woman oh <laughs> because my God. I like you so much. That's incredible. That's so, incredible. Uh, third time was the charm, you know, and uh, I said, look. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. So, let's start, yes. let's say, for the end. Yes. Because these practice yes. you call translation. I do. It's the more recent experiment, let's say, yes. that you have been developing That's right. as part of your practice. That's right. How would you explain what that is, what what the translation is? The translation is, um, well, we're going to do one in a minute. Okay. So we will be doing it back to back. We will be connecting with the breath to ourselves and to each other in those moments. I'll ask you, do you sense any colour? You will or you won't. And I'll make a note of that. And then I'll invite you to speak on whatever you'd like to speak. And whilst you're doing that, I'll be translating what I'm hearing to an abstract piece of work. I can't wait. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fascinating. It sounds amazing. And also, I think I need a few yes. breaths. Okay, so we'll start with uh, the breathing. Should we put our bags together? It's not yes. necessary. It's not necessary, but it's nice. Okay. Okay, great. That's nice. Okay, let's breathe. Thank you. Carla, did you sense any colours? Mm, yellow. Yellow, yeah. Okay. So I'd like to invite you to speak. About anything? About anything you like. I'm not going to interrupt. The floor's all yours until you finish. I'm very good at speaking normally. <laughs> Oh, now I run out of ideas. I, I, I'm gonna tell you about a wish. 
I would like to go to Italy at the end of this year if it's possible and I'm really really dreaming with the idea of lying down in a beach I feel like the sea it's um, something that gives me so much and charge me so much and heals everything every kind of pain uh, existential or or physical or uh, emotional and for very very long time i haven't been in a proper beach what i call a proper beach is a space with white sand turquoise water or, or blue water it doesn't matter but with that warm sensation that sensation that gives you uh, it's like it, it embraces you makes you feel protected and um, excited and uh, makes you feel like you want to open your heart and and expose yourself to the possibilities and um, go around with very little uh, clothes and feeling feeling the the power for nature around you I feel very free and very inspired and very very relaxed when I'm in the beach and I'm at this moment as you can see <laughs> I'm missing it it's been it's been very long without experiencing that um, and that's exactly what I have in my mind right now maybe it's the orange I'm wearing maybe it's the light of the studio I don't know but I'm feeling connecting with with that connected sorry with that wish it's a very it's a very physical and and uh, tactile kind of wish I think I'm chasing that emotion every with everything I do in my life. Hopefully people can feel it. Should I keep talking? Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the older I get, the more I recognize the power of the sun, the light of the sun. It's uh, a, a fountain, an endless fountain of energy and optimism and uh, possibilities and sense of future and uh, it just feels really, really energized and connects me with my happiest memories. And I'm not gonna talk more because I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> I had a nice trip. <laughs> Good. And you got yourself to thank for it. Yeah. Thank you really for the was fantastic. Does that happen to you when people connect with, with anything because you gave to them that freedom? Oh, you probably go very naturally to places that and, uh, end up being very emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one time, I don't know sometimes, because I did a lot of them on the telephone, so I couldn't mm. see exactly what was going on. But I did do one um, with somebody at the studio, the first one I did at the studio when we were out of lockdown. And he actually spoke about a Reiki experience. And I did a big one for him. And um, when he turned around, he went, <gasps> <laughs> like this. And he just looked at it and then he just grabs me and burst into tears wow and i was like oh my god can we do that for film <laughs> <laughs> like no no we need to film but 
just it. joking. I didn't do you know what I mean? Know this but then we <laughs> separated, and and again, he, you know, he cried, and and uh, and it was great. You know, I mean, it was just like such a sense of being able to give something. That, that did where you somebody create was touched. this um, practice, this idea, with the lockdown, right? Yes, yeah, I started in January. And actually, I had to um, text a friend today from the first translation I did because I couldn't remember when I started. Okay. It feels like longer ago, but it's actually only kind of mid-January. All right. And um, I did it because we were in lockdown. I live on my own. Um, and I just, How were you dealing with the lockdown? Well, I've dealt with it um, in different ways, in very extreme ways, actually. You know, they there's, there's not always a lot of balance with me as a person, right? So it's been kind of, all oh, right, I'm going to get visible. And I was out, 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 taking the artwork out, doing a show on the Tate and all sorts of mm -hmm. skullduggery. And, um, and then I was quiet. But I think... Uh, you know, that yes. happened to me as well. Yes, I got quiet and... Um, now I'm in the quiet phase. Yes. Well, with this back injury, I was in my quiet phase. And quite honestly, um, yes, yesterday I was like, you've got to get out because I hadn't been out of the house for a while, for about four days. And I'm like, oh my God, I've got to go see Carla. <laughs> it's <like> really <laughs> bubbly. And I feel like I was peeking through the blinds, you know. Because also I have workmen at the minute, so the kind of blinds been down this yeah, and yeah, the yeah, other yeah. outside. I'm totally get and, it because uh, I I am very social. I'm yeah. very I'm very I'm happy with people around me, yeah. but I could also get into my cave yeah. and be completely happy in that state yes. of separation yes. from everything. Yes. It's really weird. Yes. I do need that. Uh, what I find though is that there is a kind of a a bit of a fine line because I can do it for days, mm. but then I go over the days, and then I'm like, and, then it's, and <laughs> well, then, then it's a bit of a problem. Yes, because I, yeah. yes, yes, I had exactly the same feeling. Like it's okay if you do it for a few days, yeah. but when I could get into an extreme yeah, also exactly so you never know yeah. when it's too much exactly because you are inside of this bubble exactly of isolation exactly and that's why yesterday i thought jesus get out of the house go for a walk Do and connect with exactly, people exactly and Talk then someone, make, and then i was makeup. exactly yeah, yeah. and then i was okay again because i thought how am i gonna how am i gonna get through this interview i've been in like this little bubble you know, and kind of shut down, yes. especially when one has pain. Yes. I find, you know, that it also can, that's another you layer. down somehow. Yeah. Your, your, yes. Not only your inspiration, but also the, the capacity of dealing with things. Absolutely. You become very aware of everything yeah. and not always happy with everything. Absolutely. And why would I want to be? <laughs> or why would we want to be with everything? You know, although that is the state of play that's supposed yeah. to be yeah. the happiest, the best place to be, isn't it? Except yeah, everything. But the, it, it, we need to be careful because it's so when when all it's under control. Because yeah. at home, when you are on your own, yeah. you you kind of have a control to situation a point, to, a point. to a point. Yeah, and uh, we lose touch with the ability of solving problems, being being able to deal with things you yes. maybe are not inviting, yes. but they are coming. Yes, like and a mastery almost, isn't it? Yes, yes. So it, it, it is dangerous to yes. keep yourself too isolated. Yes. Even, but, but it's also dangerous to never stop. Yes. That's why we all, all of us, all of us with 2020 had a big realization. Yes. And it's that we all need time out, off, out, out. Yeah, yes. exactly. exactly. And we all need to rethink a few yes. things and, yes. and put in perspective others. Yes. What was for you? apart from the translations that are an amazing practice and also completely original. You came up with the idea, you are developing a style, it's something you are also giving to the others. Mm. Apart from that, what, what, it, from a creative point of view, mm. what were you experiencing? Were you very um, uh, productive? You said that, that at the beginning you were. 
Oh, I was on fire. What, what, oh, I you mean, were on fire. I just was like, oh my God. And as well, I found a kind of a playmate who would come out with me and we'd take our work, you know, my work out and we'd photograph it in unusual places in the tubes and here and there. I've got a whole page on my website of my kind of exploits that I, that I did. Yes. Because to me, I thought, you know, this is a time where I could become visible. And uh, what is so great is, um, you know how when you just know that you're kind of on the right track, you get some kind of something, right? And I was in a tube with my arts where I put my artwork in the tube and I'm sitting there with my mask on with a piece here and a piece here behind me. And then above my head, I didn't realize this till the photographer sent me the pictures, right? And I was like, hell, what is that written over my head? Visible. Wow. Visible. It was a, like a billboard or something on the other side of the train, right? Visible. And I just thought, there you go. <laughs> there you go. But I also love the fact that you were exploring your connection with the city. Yeah. In the moment that everyone was in yeah. and disconnecting from the city. Yes, yes. You were also kind of sending a message of a challenge, challenging yes. the situation, yes. but in a very kind way, and also with a lot of mis mystery around your figure, your own entity mm. as human being. Yes. And uh, I could see this woman very f stylish, very fashionable, very urban, but at the same time, very mysterious. And I feel very related with that way of communicating who you are yes. and not being completely, completely obvious, yeah. but at this and at the same time showing your vulnerability. Like I want to be seen and yes. to say that yes. to the world yes. is to put yourself in a very vulnerable yes. place. Yes, yes, yes. Because also um, when we did get locked down, I thought, well, <laughs> Well, now we really are in it all together because, you know, I have a lot of friends that actually can't stay in. And I've had to, for one reason or another, had to stay in either through an illness or through something or whatever, yeah. right? I've had to stay in, so I've had no choice. But I've always come out of it. So I'm like, hmm, <laughs> okay, so now let's see, you know. But I did uh, I did just think, oh, my God, I, this is a chance for me to get visible. Or the art galleries were closed, as you know, so I'm like, right, okay. Let's see what we can do. He had a private view in an establishment that one's not supposed to take 70 pieces of work to with drink and this and that. And obviously not a lot of people could come because, you know, I feared getting arrested. But quite honestly, I now regret not getting arrested because it would have been it would great have been, press. It would you know, I'm like, great. damn. Yeah, yeah. Are know. we talking, for example, of the video you did? At the entrance of the Tate Britain? Yeah, I had a show up there, so I took 70 pieces of work. How is, co is it called? Shh, take two. Okay. <laughs> or Tate two as a kind of thing, because I had one show which was just a kind of an experiment. When you were dancing yeah. with these projections ah, yes. on top of you, yes. or behind you, I don't yes. know, it yes. seems like on top of you. Yes. Um, the music was there. Could you move with them? Because yes. you were moving in a, in a very, very um, gra graceful way. Yes, yes. W was well, the so music in your head? No. no well, actually, um, so what, what, that, what that was, is that was, um, that video was done in 2016. Okay. My dad had passed away, so I'd been lucky enough to spend eight months with my dad before he passed away. So, you know, really knowing what the word powerless means when you can only be there you cannot change the situation mm -hmm. you know you can put a smile on, oh my darling's here like this but you can't change the situation and i was um i was actually at college and i left eight months early but i had to put a show on because if i hadn't put a show on after my dad had passed away i think I had about a month and a half to put on a show otherwise the time was out i wouldn't have got my degree i wouldn't have got anything and anyway i'm self-taught they didn't really teach anything they were they were great they were like here's your space get on with it okay which is lovely you know? it, yeah and um so well it depends of what you need but yes for well, you was lovely <laughs> yeah at the time because i'd never i mean I'd, i hadn't done any schooling since for 35 years and I'd actually um, been in a hell of a state when I left school when I was quite young but anyway not complaining um, so 
it was things were raw. So I put on this show in Battersea and I built an installation and I got press and everything. I'm going to make a video as well. You know? Okay. Because they kept saying to me, look, you've done these cityscapes. There's no people in there. So I thought, okay, well, let's put Marilyn in there. You know, she's an icon. Yeah. It's fairly yeah. commercial, blah, blah, blah. Let's put her in there. Why don't you put yourself in there? And I'm like, well, I don't really want to be in there. You know, it's like I'd spent a lot of time in India before I had come back and done these, you know, for, with nature. Yes. And then come back and done these, yes. you know, the city We this, are going to talk about every series in detail because they are super interesting. Obviously, the one the one you do with the um, buildings or yes. urban, urban landscapes, yes. that... They, they look more minimal in the terms of the use of color, but yeah. they are very also very expressive yes. and geometrical in the, in terms of form. Yes. But also obviously make us think about the influence that had in your life your dad, mm. who was an architect, yes. and also exactly, probably yes. the life you had yes. because you have been traveling a lot. Yes around cities yes. mostly, right? Yes. yes. So please tell me when did you start developing those that work, that that kind of work? That was two thousand and seven. That was two thousand and seven. So that was um when I managed to get into Kensington and Chelsea College. Okay. And uh, five days before it started, <laughs> they said, uh, I took in some things, you know, some some uh, pieces and stuff. And they said, uh, can we ask you, what have you been doing for the last 20 years? And I said, oh, this and that and traveling and misspent youth and blah, blah, blah. And said, definitely you can come in. So that's when I started um, um, working. Was that uh, 2007? Was that 2007? Yeah, it was 2007. First, I did um, a lot of outside stuff. I brought stuff in from the uh, street, a lot of building installations, very rough stuff, brick and slate yes, and one thing and another. Yes. And then I started, then I started, then I went to India. And then when I came back, three weeks, I took a little bit longer, three weeks later, um, I um, started with this kind of Bridget Riley type, you know, thing. My zigzag uh, mm -hmm. is very Bridget Riley esque type of thing but um how do you do that you do you first work with pencil no and no then, no i never how is i it never 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 work with pencil i always work with pen like i couldn't work with anything like no always so you with come in with the line yeah and always you go pen. for it yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you feel yeah, like always because it's um, for something which more abstract you kind of get it, yeah. That that the aban the sense of abandonment, yes. is there. Oh yes, but that's because you are different. working with yeah. lines yeah. and with more yeah. structure <laughs> yeah. things. That's very obsessive, and you know, like like this, you know. And uh, but the thing is, I don't know where I'm going at all. I don't even do. That's they, beautiful. In fact, in fact, they told me off at college. They're like, well, "Where are all your books for your planning?" And I'm like, "I don't have books with planning." Well, you're supposed to. I said, "Well, I don't." You know, and also they're saying like, and which artist are you going to to see? And I'm like, well, I'm not. Why not? You're supposed to be looking at other artists. So I said, I don't want to be detracted from myself, and that works yeah. against me as well. But it's a, I've I've kind of maintained what I've maintained. So I basically I'll start on the left, sometimes in the middle, and I will just go where it wants me to go, where I'm led. Okay. And um, one of the ones I've done is called um, Into the City. Right now, if someone said, "Could you do me one of those?" Say, if I sold the original, could you do me one of those? Oh my God, I try, but I really sometimes I look at it and I think, I don't know how you did that, which is a nice thing. I did it. It is amazing, I don't know how I, but how I of did course, it. it's my it, favorite it, one. It's very difficult to um, make commissions because they have to trust you. They yeah. have to like what you yes. are you are going to come yes. up up with. Yes, yes, and. Um, that makes me, of course, connect with an obvious question. How important is for you intuition as part of your process of creation? Well, it's important, isn't it? It's intuition is very important. I mean, it can be like the color I want, how, what the, how the mood takes me. 
you know, I mean, I was doing all these very, very straight things. And my intuition is to go here and then to take it to here and do. Do you like always this. trust your intuition in life as well, or um, or, or or when you are in front of a um, a process, yeah. sometimes you stop. And because I think the more you trust, yeah. the better always. Yeah. But we don't always do yeah. that naturally. Yeah, I've um, I've trusted my intuition, but it's got me into a few problems with people because I can be quite outspoken <laughs> about this. Not so much outspoken, but I'll say what's on my mind. Okay, you know, no, and I, and I, I'll stand up for the underdog. Do you know what I mean? When sometimes it's, yes, you yes. know, people not always like like that. this, yeah. you know. But then sometimes I've got my hand bit too, so. I've had a lot of lessons and uh, I've learned a lot of hard lessons in my life, you know, and I think uh, that's just the kind of person I am. That's just the way it was supposed to be. You know, I'm trying to, uh, maybe sometimes people would have put, put my mind above it and would connect with the heart and so on to make, to make, um, so you keep all these better serious... things for myself. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking about your yeah. artwork yeah. and it is because you do so much yeah. and some of the things are very different of and course you can yeah. you can notice yeah. also the connection between all of them but for example that series of um, landscapes or buildings or metropolis cities Escapes, yeah. they Cityscapes, yeah. they, they give you that sensation but then you have another one called nature yeah, completely which is yeah. Amazing, it's beautiful. Yes, thank you. I, I, now that you said that you were in India, yeah. I, I'm kind of making connections yes. aesthetically with that country, or at least the references I have yes. from an outsider, yes. being an outsider. Yes. But that artwork, that series in particular, it's really um, stylish and really charming and really futuristic somehow it doesn't make me feel like it's an obvious tribute to mm. nature mm. it's more like a, a, a obviously nature and the voluptuosity of nature is there but the way you approach nature to tribute nature it's completely it's not the easy way not the not the obvious <laughs> connection and yeah. I love that I Thank really you. really love Thank that you. a lot of those um flowers for instance are yes. made up ones do you know so I don't say right well what does this flower look like and then then I'm going to copy the flower it's they like I'll beautiful. make up beautiful that, that make one up that one. is round oh I love that and Moonlight. it's full of I love Moonlight. it I love that too because I it's like a whole universe yes it also makes me feel a little bit of Art Nouveau kind of influences. I don't know when, when, how long did, did that take? Did that's that what take? everyone takes. Yes. That's what everyone asks me. How long does your work take? And I've At never least, been a is, long, it, is it big? Is it's it, 62, um, it's 62 centimeters circumference. So it's about this wide, you know, round like this. Um, and everyone says, how long did that take? How long did Metropolis take? And to be honest, I don't time myself, but I know it takes time. It takes time. But the thing with me as well, when you're into that, for me, it's like a meditation. Of course. You know, it's like, and you just get into it and you, you know, oh, and then you just never mind. And <laughs> you just keep going. And it was like that with, you know, uh, with the abstract, not so much. Yeah, you know, because that's like, more like... I'll keep going, yeah. yeah. But it was nice to shift from cityscapes then to just be purely, you know, with charcoal and acrylic and just... Yes, and mixing like materials yeah. and being a yeah. little bit more Yeah, but flexible. still the city still remained in it. You know, it was like I wasn't getting away from it. It was like, well, if you're not getting away from it, don't try to. You know, you're not done with it yet. So then I have the nature and so on. But I just, do, just to finish about this, uh, you asked me about the dancing and so on. So um, when my dad was passing, there's this film, it's an amazing film with Sean Penn. It's called 22 Grams or 21 Grams, oh, yes. The Weight Of. Yes, yes. And there's a beautiful piece of music in it. And um, Do when... Do you remember that movie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, when I, when, and that, that is in the video that I have, Finding Space, I've called it, on my website. 
But I came up with the idea because after my dad passed away and after I moved everything and one thing and another, right, I did lose the plot big time, right? So I kind of just lost the plot. So I was kind of, do you know these poi things that you do, you know? Yes. So yes. I was doing that in my living room, right? <laughs> kind of, you know, like this. And I had all the baby lights around and everything. And I was like, oh, my God. And I've always liked dressing up, always like clothes and fashion and stuff like that. So I, so I thought, you know what? For this show that I had to put on, and they're saying, if you do not put a show on by this time, the 30th of June, you're not going to pass. So I'm like, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. But I want to go the extra mile. I'm always kind of making more. Let's do more, more. So I decided um, this poi looks good. This is what I'm going to do in the city. So you keep asking me to be in the city, I'll be in the city. Okay. So then I called up a, a guy who I'd actually dragged into a show one time because he looked so fantastic. I just like dragged this man in, became friends. His name's Johannes Böhringer. And he's... Uh, I saw, I saw he's he a, the film. Yeah, yeah, he's a lecturer at Brunel University. And I called him and I said, do you know anyone that can film me? I want to do this thing and i got to be quick and everything. And I have this idea. And he said, I'll film it if you can get down to the university. So I shot down to the university with this black and white outfit that I've made. I, it was a dress, but I made it into a skirt. So where the sleeves were, there were big holes here and then some kind of bondage thing. Yes, and I saw. Because I, I wanted saw that to when be you part. were opening your legs, yes. <laughs> you could see that there were strings connecting yes. both yes. legs. Yes, so I wanted to be part of it, but it was it was very much like how do I find space in the city? Because I have lived in nature and I have chosen to be in places for a long time, like India or various other places, you know, by the beach, where I get that energy in the sea, which is my happy place, being in the sea, I love it. Um, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's why I, I was <laughs> yeah. talking about that. Know. I so that, Yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. So then to come back to the city, it's like, uh, and, and also, um, you know, if you the palm trees you know these big big palms they all look just like steps yes you know so when yes. i had my exhibition when i came back from india when i was still at that school when i first showed cityscapes i brought the photographs as well and they were like well what are the photographs that's all color and green and what's that got to do with this and it's like but can't you tell it's like nature is almost reflecting mm -hmm. do you know there the are definitely similarities yeah, yeah. So like that's kind cam of what I, flash yeah. between nature and, and yeah. the, the cityscape. Yeah, so I found that interesting. But it I, is. I, so there was no music and there was like about 10 minutes rehearsal. He said, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You know. um, so I'm like, well, I think I'm going to come on like this. And um, actually, if I'd like to do it again one time because it slightly got stripper-esque at one time and it was kind of putting it <laughs> you know like yes. this when the when you know when do the, you think you would be more bolder in your expression i wouldn't be smiling into the camera and being so coy but i had been through a really big bereavement do you know what i mean and it was a kind of a thing like i need to get this done i want to get this done and i have a certain amount of time i had like two hours to film it so i just did my best but we had no anything to it so it was just kind of a it was a feeling so the yes. movement as you asked did i have music no it was a feeling it was a feeling it was a feeling you were moving it was a feeling but when i look at it there's lots of things oh god i'd love to do that again to kind of make it more the way i would like to in, on and reflection. music music always helps to navigate that, yes those feelings yes. that you would like yes. to experience yes and uh, it just comes so naturally yes. because the music yes. brings that That's out. right. Out. And it started with the heartbeat. The boom, the boom, the boom. And then trying to get through that door, find a door, and then the, the, the traffic and everything. Oh, hell, the traffic. And let's try and direct the traffic, okay. you know, to try and get some control. And that's not working. So let's try and get... Oh, and then we found a key because I thought I got the key in my back pocket, but I'd forgotten to get through. And then it changed into this slow, beautiful music from that gorgeous film, and then ended with the heartbeat on the solar plexus. And I love it because I was very vulnerable. I was very vulnerable, although it's like, oh, I looked into the camera and oh, I did a bit of this. It doesn't matter, it's actually me. Yeah. This is me. Yeah. It's not perfect, no, but this is but me. It's, it's this is all beautiful. parts of my life. And honest, yes. 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 And, um, how 
obviously to someone like you that grew up uh, traveling so much and having experiences imagine being able to say I was born in Kenya yeah. but then I'm English but yeah. then I also went uh, it, it, during a phase of um, uh, my developing as a person yeah. I went to different countries yeah. how that do you think has shaped you your personality but also your your the way you get inspired yeah I love to be abroad. I love hearing different languages. Okay, so for you wasn't love it. wasn't um because sometimes yeah. I have seen yes. that people that when they were little they yes. had to travel a lot. Yes. They realize how lucky they were when they are all adults, but they yes. don't tell you that yes. when they were actually experiencing it yes. as child, yes. they were happy. They sometimes yes. actually have experienced that as a kind of displacement yeah. and, and, and complicated feeling. Yeah. Was it like that for you? It was because um, I was the new girl. I think I went to seven different schools, you see. And I left school at 16, 16 and a half, something like that. So uh, maybe 17. But I, uh, I was the new girl. And that, Always the that, new girl. that I found difficult because I was like, oh, you know, I'm the new girl, <laughs> you know, but it's like then there were all these other kind of complications that were a real drag, actually. And I remember at 13 um, having a very, very nice offer made me like a kind of a once in a lifetime offer. And literally and my mum saying, oh, do you want to do it? And I literally went, no, I don't. Why? And my mum said, why not? I said, because I've been bullied already. If I get, if I do that, they're going to think, oh, she thinks she's everything. You know, do you know what I mean? And it was easier not to do it, to oh try and get God. on with people, which is a real drag. I remember some, uh, a very young, well, she was 17, young girl in India saying to me, what would you go back and tell your younger self if you could? And I said, to shine your true colours. Yes. That's what I would say, you know, and not to be afraid. But um, in, in my you, life... Were, were you scared of being rejected because of being too much? Being too good or being too successful or being too luminous or, yeah. or having too much Well, yeah it, yeah, it was just a drag. Do you know what I mean? Because then it kind of made you feel more separate. It's like I'm the new girl and I want to join in. So I've done actually one of my little black um, gloss paintings. I love it so much. It's called... Um, can I join in? <laughs> it's like it's like this little one on the outside, you know, it's like wanting to join in. But then as well, I'm very fussy about people. Let's get it right, you know, I am fussy about people. You know, I'm very sensitive and I don't think that's a bad thing. That's nice oh, to be yes, sensitive. It's a super and I have, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this girl saying to me, you're so sensitive. And it's like, yes, I am. And I'm proud of it. Do you know what yes. I mean? I mean, tricky is another thing, you know, it can be a little, obviously sometimes a bit tricky, but yeah, I like to be sensitive. And uh, Do you think now, because of that experience of being for so long, the new girl, yeah. are you kind of um, somehow addict to the need of being the new, of being, of being, to that kind of energy that gives the, when you initiate something, when you yeah, start something? Yeah, I don't something. mind. I mean, recently Not? I've started being invited to this place, right? So it's a member's place. I don't want to be a member, but I've been asked. So I'm new and I'm very aware that people, oh, she's new. Who is she? One thing or another, you know. But I mean, the novelty wears off very, very quickly. Yes. And to be honest, um, I've never been one to like have a posse and to run with a crowd. Obviously, I've had a group of friends and so on, especially when I was younger in Hong Kong. I think there were about five or six of us, you know. Then I came back to this country. I think I then had one friend. I got involved in a whole lot of stuff. Um, I have a few friends, but the few friends I have are really, really like super, super ride, ride or die friends. And um, and that's okay. Yes. You know, that is okay. Well, that's, that's that is how okay. it is. That's because okay. Because yeah. uh, real connection, real commitment, real, 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 yes. real yes. reality yes. is not something we can easily experience, yes. unfortunately. Yes. It, it takes time, it takes courage, and it takes... Um, ex many experiences. Yeah. 
start yeah. to yeah. making it grow and yes. grow and grow the, the trust. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it cannot be like achieving this. one day. No, no. And I, as much as I like to be, you know, you know, sociable in things, yes. then, I open, like open then I like to withdraw. Then I like to withdraw. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be all the time going to this place and stuff. I want to step back. Um, yeah. When you feel more, when when you relate with your work in a more therapeutic kind of way, mm. so because you need to take something out of your body yes. or, or 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 that al alchemic process that art allows people to have. Yes. That I have a situation here. I'm gonna transform that and create this. When you need that therapeutic input yes what kind of work you tend to do more okay. expressive more abstract or more figurative or conceptual uh, what kind of figurative, language conceptual and emotional but i remember um in lockdown oh uh, you know yes we had that wonderful um summer didn't we yes so i didn't uh, <laughs> last me. year last me, year me, I, think, I, I have a little window <laughs> And the sun comes <laughs> in and that's it. And, and I was like so desperate for the next, sun. Next time, when, when the, when the uh, builders have gone, come to my place. Because my place is like a little mouse hole, but I've got two balconies. Okay, yeah? you I've will got see two balconies, me. fake grass, I'm everything. Right? The wall, please okay? do, please do, it'll be fun. <laughs> So um, I had the windows open and um, I don't even have a table actually to have a dinner on. My place is tiny, not complaining because it's in a great spot. But I thought, I, I one day I thought, I could paint out the window because everything's going to dry so easily, you know. So I found this piece of wood and I thought, I just need two pieces of other wood, right, to mm -hmm. prop it up. And I thought, I've got some somewhere. And I dug them out. I actually remembered where they were, which is an absolute miracle, right. And you could not have cut... If you'd have cut them to size, that's, that's the size they would have been. And I just propped them up, put the piece of wood, and I had an outdoor table. So I just leant from my kitchen, and I was able to paint. So I'd get that, and that would be done, and then I'd take it into the um, living room, and then I had them drying in the bathroom, like three or four on the go, you know, fast, because I'm fast, actually, unless it's a really slow one. And um, I hadn't done any for a while, and then I'm like, oh my God, I've got to do something, I've got to do something. So I didn't know what I was going to do exactly, but it turned out to be quite revealing in that I'd drawn myself, and I wasn't in a good space, and I was kind of hunched over. Um, it's in Is the that abstract. one a little bit orangey? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Amazing. That's the one. I can see a one. Yeah, that's the one. It, I, I, it's yeah. beautiful that you're mentioning yeah. it because I kept looking at that work and yeah. feeling it's hair. Yeah. But it maybe was, not. Yeah. No, maybe it was. It was. Maybe it's not even a woman. You no, know, it was. I, 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 it was. Yeah, but there is a possible man coming from below as well. Uh, when you look at it, but um, yes, I'm gonna look again yes, because yes. I didn't see the man. Yes. So it was, uh, it's orange. It's that. So that one's very orange. Yes, then the second orange. one I did has got a black background with the orange. So yes, the, yes. the first one I it's like well. I've got something on my back. So to be honest, I felt like I had the weight of the world on my back. I felt heavy. I didn't feel good. I really, I didn't feel good at all. And I was like, I was like, you got to. You've got to do some painting and this is what the result but it was really revealing and i used um some cork from the hardware shop to make the kind of 3d to make the texture of the hairs and, uh -huh. and it's like that so that was nice um but then so i'm looking down but then from here there's a there's a kind of a, another face that's going rah 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 giving me a hard time and this is, you know, I think we all have it, don't we? We have yes. the softer, we have the harder. Yes. And this was rah, rah, rah. And then the next day. Is it for you that that face is yourself or is or is actually the exterior, the, the, the world I felt, outside of No, you? I felt, I don't feel that it was me. In that case, I didn't feel it was me. I felt the me was that I had something on my back. This other thing was something that I have to put up with or that I felt I had to put up with me that had maybe I'd taken too hard or too mm. personally that... Mm. That I, mm -hmm. so I got yeah, into that from, state from the world. Yeah, we had actually, to yeah, um, deal with. Yeah, but then the one after I did the next day because I felt good for having produced something, and I looked at it and I was like, "There you go, 
there you go, Julie. Do you know what I mean? You've just done some therapy. Yes. So that was so that was nice. Some self therapy. That was very conscious. Yeah. Conscious therapy. Yeah. yeah. But normally, would you say that in general, all our work it's kind of thera therapeutic for you? I think it's therapeutic. I, I, I think it's therapeutic, I feel but it not is. always therapy. No. But okay, ther therapeutic. definitely therapeutic because emotionally, mentally, my mental health, you know, my well being. Um, is always better when I'm being creative okay. in one way or another. Okay. You know, I can get really <laughs> quite unhinged when I'm not writing or with some idea, you know. So, so it's been an absolute lifesaver for me all my life, really. It's been a lifesaver that I have been creative. You have that refuge, that that little something which is big, yeah, and it's full of possibilities. Yes, yes, yes. That's what you are saying to us yes. with the work you produce. Yes, that thank you. Um, freedom is also possible when you decide to be an artist. You don't have to co necessarily yeah. commit. Mm -hmm. And and there's something beautiful you said about your own work and it's in your website and says that you think you are basically embracing duality. Yes, definitely. And uh, that's obvious, but that's also beautiful. Like, um, I am impressed sometimes how literal people can be or, or our understanding of things can be. And then if you are strong, you cannot be soft. Yeah. If you yeah. are um, uh, intelligent, you cannot be uh, also sensual. And, and if you are why you're going to be black, I mean, the darkness and the light, yeah. all those things are so interconnected from my point of view that yeah, it's amazing how sometimes it seems to be a sin yeah. to embrace oh, duality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when people say, she's so angry, <laughs> she's so angry. And look, she's expressing herself with her hand. She's so intimidating and it's like, I'm yeah. so angry. I'm yeah. so angry. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like if I if I'm angry, you'll see me angry. If I'm really happy, you'll see me really happy. Yes. If I'm upset, I'll cry. Yes. Do you know? And that's the way I want to be. And I have kind of got into a bit of trouble sometimes with that. And I thought, just be quiet. Just don't say it like this. But you know, I stood it for a while, and I just felt that I was disappearing. I just literally felt that I was disappearing. Yeah, I've got to be myself for myself. And if it doesn't please, please, you know, please, please a certain people. group of people, then I'll just stay away from those people. Yeah. I don't have to keep going back in the lion's cage. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to fit that particular thing. So, yeah, I might as well fit myself. You know, I might as well fit myself. Yes. Um, but the next day, so from the orange, I did another me and I was holding the world. So I didn't have this thing on my back. And I think I've called that gratitude. Okay. You know, so that those two, um, the orange painting. Do you think the second one was a little bit more conscious or l less spontaneous? Um, no. No? <laughs> no. No. I don't, no, maybe a little less, a little less, but I don't think it was like, oh, now I'm grateful. I'm going to draw a grateful picture. Yes, yes. Because actually I'm not that good at that. It's like, for instance, I do write, I will say because it's true, I'm not being, you know... <laughs> although it wouldn't hurt to be, writes, do some really good writing, you know, like prose and poetry and stuff. But I'm never good. I haven't been good at it when I've said, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to write a poem now. I, I'm really not good at okay. that. It, it has, has to, to come happen. from a thought. Yeah. Like I might just have something in my, you know, she wasted the time. And then, oh, she wasted the time. Oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like this. And that as well has... I remember writing something in nine, in uh, when I was 26, so I can't remember the year because I'm not great at maths, but a long, long, long time ago, about 40 years ago or something, not quite 40, but a long time ago. And um, I, didn't, I didn't really think much of it at the time. It just rhymed. But years later, I found it and I was like, oh, my God, look, look, what you, look how um, conscious you were that you didn't even, mm -hmm. you didn't realise it in yourself. But and you, you wouldn't knew, have given you but the you knew, yeah, you knew, you knew, you knew, you know, and it's a pity maybe you weren't kind of clear enough to kind of see where that was. But again, it's our journeys, isn't it? Sometimes we just, for whatever those reasons are, 
Um, lately, I'm, I'm very interested on failure because I think, obviously, when I was younger, I could think of failure like a way to to grow and experience some kind of interesting insights mm. of life in general, mm. but I couldn't give the credit that I can give it now because mm. of my faili own failures. Mm. <laughs> they have been, yeah. they are mine, and I uh, now I know the weight of this. In your experience, as a human being, as a woman, as an artist, what's the place you give to failure and how how important they have been to allow you to keep going and become a better person mm. or a better artist? Yes. Well, um, sometimes I've kind of seen failure. I, I've, I've kind of got it mixed up with rejection. Sometimes, like the rejection, if I've been rejected, I've seen it as a failure. Mm -hmm. When in fact, actually, they say it's God's protection, isn't yeah. it? Rejection is God's it's, protection. It's, it's, it's yeah, protection. so that's yeah. actually been a blessing yeah. rather than a, you know. Yeah. But sometimes I've got that mixed up. Often I'm like, oh my God, you know. Even some artists I can't look at because I'm like, or like, or like now I kind of go off them. I don't actually know them, but I'm like, oh my God, now he's got a thing for this and he's making this much money and why don't I know these people and all these kind of things. Well, simple, because I don't know those people. Yeah. I don't know those people. Do I like you know, spend hours on Instagram? No, I don't. I mean, it's an absolute miracle that I've had four new people and I haven't actually done a post in three weeks. I'd rather someone else did it. Not because I'm lazy, but I just, the whole thing of it. I think your Instagram is amazing. <laughs> I'm like looking That's... at your Instagram and I, and I show people as well. I go, look how great her thing is, right? But sometimes I... Incredible. I think that shows um, something about myself that I lately have been thinking a lot from a negative point of view, that how much of that it's a real, genuine uh, wish for connection, mm. which I always think it is, mm. and how much of that it's the need of being approved mm. constantly mm. because maybe you don't approve yourself enough. Yeah. You know, yeah. th there's that, that battle yeah. between being very confident yes. and, and happy yes. with your own processes yes. and your own... You are in your body. You cannot yes. be someone else. You need no. to be happy with yourself. Yes. How much that allows me to communicate from a very, very uh, sincere place yes, and how much of that is mm, seeking attention, yes. you know? Yes. And you you never not really know. Yes. And Instagram and all these social medias are there to show you all your demons, demons yeah. as well, right? Yeah. Mm. Because why do you need that so much? Yeah. I ask myself yeah. that question. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't think I don't. But I still do it. I yeah. still do it. I still need to. And sometimes I feel like I really want to communicate. But do you get sad if the answer is not the one you were expecting? Then something is wrong. Because yes. when you communicate from a very spontaneous, yes. not expecting anything, yes, yes, yes. you don't suffer if someone doesn't give you something back. Yes. Right? Unless you get upset and then they're like... <laughs> Getting happier, the more upset you're getting. <laughs> that, yes. What are these days oh. for you huh? in general? What do you mean with the, them? Or the, uh, the other, the other, the, the other, other people. The other, the other night, it's like, oh, I, I see you haven't posted. I always know when there's something going on because you haven't been posting on Facebook and you haven't been posting on Instagram. And it's like, it's like, well, no, that is true. Sometimes I've gone off it because I genuinely don't want to, you know, be seen and I don't want to be heard. And I just like maybe have a little look and if for a birthday or something, you know, a couple of friends abroad. And uh, other times, and like recently, it's just that I've actually, when I go out and I get some more footage, I'll put it on, you know, or, yes, you know, something like this. And, and uh, I used to be... A lot, of, especially when my dad was um, passing away, someone kind of gave me a 
dare or something. Oh, can you know, to do a grateful thing for 10 days. Well, it was just me and my dad in the hospital and thing like that. And I took the challenge. You couldn't shut me up. I mean, I was writing like this, ah, you know, and then happy and grateful and all raw, raw, raw. And then I just stopped all that. And um, um, like your posts, like I looked at a couple of uh, your posts and what I liked about because I liked something and you were saying... I'm not paying. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not paying. Yeah, her we'll deal you. with this later. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but um, you know, the things that you said, I can't remember now what it was you said because I'm so excited about doing this and we've talked about so many things jumping around. But uh, I liked that. I appreciated that because I felt it's coming from your heart and it's sincere. When people are constantly posting these things that aren't theirs at all, then I'm just like I get you know I yeah I get a bit and like, can you can you tell can you tell when because the other uh, another thing I was reading and you wrote in one of your blogs yes it, it was about you were kind of um, criticizing maybe uh, the language of art right and saying that it sounded most of times very, very pretentious right. and very pompous right. and, and not necessarily genuine or not necessarily connecting yeah. from a place of uh, a re respect, more from a pl place of uh, I need to patronize you or I need to assume I know something you don't. Yeah. And uh, when you write about, when someone writes about your work or you have an exhibition or you have to work yes. to write something about your yes. own work, yes. what do you try <laughs> In to do? third party. <laughs> In the third party. Julie Bloom is, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's so much easier. It's, yeah. it's so much easier. How do you, how do you try to not make those mistakes and really connect from the heart and really choose the words yes. that are going to be easy to understand and easy to feel connected with. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, um, again, at college, you know, they, there was a lesson of sorts. It was called the language of art, right? And I just was rubbish at it. I was like, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to be good at this at all, you know? And um, I remember... Um, with the cityscapes, I built this kind of little thing from foam and this, that, and then I put a little mirror in it and I made this poem. It's like, um, when the city sleeps, do you dream? And if you dream, do you uh, like this? And it went on. It wasn't very long. Do you create? And if you create, do you embrace? And um, I had that so that hopefully somebody would look in the mirror and maybe ask themselves that question. Okay. You know, I didn't expect a written thing or anything, but just to ask the question. And I was told off for that. Why? Right? I don't know. <laughs> it's like Julie, the tutors, it's like, you shouldn't really do that. And I'm like, why? It's my work. Why aren't I? Oh, no, no, no. You should let them decide for themselves. But I'm like, I don't want to get into a big growl, but it's like, they are for themselves, aren't they? And uh, so because I can't speak in the language of art, um, I had a piece written for me. I didn't actually use it because they went into some stuff which I thought I don't really want that told, you know. But, um, and uh, it was in some real language of art. I hardly understood it myself. So I thought, well, how authentic is that going to be? Yeah. Because I, I don't really understand yeah. it myself. And, um, you know, I mean, usually when I um, do a translation, as soon as I've done it, I explain it. I would like if to you go don't there. mind, yeah. I would. Because I'll tell this you is why. a good way to yes. come into a because nice it's, conclusion. It's, it's quite, or it's our quite, conversation. Yes. I, I wanted to... <laughs> Start with these, yes. go on all yes. around, yes. and then finish in here. Yes. So perfect. Yes. So, um, so basically, when we started, this is how I kind of started off. It was like zzz, 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 question mark, question mark, because you were like, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm not sure what I'm going to say. Okay. Right. And then you were like, Oh, I just want to be laying. So there's your head tilted back there, you know, on the beach with the blue. The, the blue thing, this is yes. what makes me feel good, like this, you know, like this. 
And uh, so we, we've been a bit, usually I do it straight away, so my memory is super fresh. <laughs> now so, you have to remember. So now I have to remember. But there are a couple of hearts yes, and Yes, there hearts. are the hearts there, yeah. So the hearts were like how you're going to kind of manage things and how things are, you know, how things are for you. Uh, this is your shower from the sun you were talking about. It's like the sun gives this energy of kind of shower and stuff. And this is you here again. <laughs> Lovely little figure here. There's a little breast there because we always see little breasts, which is so sweet and <laughs> so do. lovely. I know. <laughs> right. I know. There's a little breast here. Yes. And, uh, and another breast here. And your your head is, you know, here like this. So this is you and with the hearts and uh, the eye here. The eye here. Wow. So it's like what you can Amazing. see. Amazing. I love it. And I think because I told you at some point that I felt embraced by the weather, by the sun and the that kind of temperature yes. that the hot places yes. have yes. that makes you feel like you don't need anything and also you don't need to protect yourself or 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 that's that's one of the things that um tropical countries give you is that sense of I can go around life and I don't have to Hush. Yeah. be overprotecting yeah. because Nothing is going to happen. It's yes. fine. Everything yes. is fine. It's all good. Yes. Even if it's not true, yes, that's yes. the feeling at least yes. you have when you leave your house, yes. when you go out. When yes. And um, I I have always struggled a little bit with the sense of drama that winter gives, gives you. Sense of so, somehow it's, it makes you feel more alone, more solitary because yes. it's you and the weather the yes, relationship yes, yes. is complicated <laughs> no, exactly <laughs> it is. oh come out it's so inviting it's like <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit it? of a yeah. contrast yeah. all the time yeah. you want to go out but yes. the weather tells you i'm yes. here i'm yes, not easy right. yeah, it can be, it can be <laughs> it's aggressive easy. it's aggressive isn't it and then you get this kind of thing. have you wrapped yourself <laughs> Uh, are you protected enough yes. and then you you feel like okay okay well yes and uh, so thank you thank you for this pleasure what what's the next step the next thing is i will it's in a little bit of a line <laughs> and um and uh, then i shall paint it i shall paint it in okay uh, the yellow and there'll be blues and i always do ask because especially with people, you know, they have like one color or they're not sure or they give me a few colors. And I say, may I take the liberty of choosing some colors that I feel? Okay. And people usually say, yes, 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 please. yes. 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 Because uh, actually... And it's easy for people just to talk about anything. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, one person... Um, We'd been arranging this for ages, you know, and then I was doing it actually over the phone and I said, OK, begin. And and I started and it wasn't a page this big. And I just started here and then he stopped and I'm like, he went, that's it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Listen, this is not, I mean, I should have actually just it cut just that little beginning. bit out like, because it's not like, you know, there's no giving. You know, okay. so you have to kind of give to, to get, and you know. And people give you more stories or more sensations? They, they, the narrative is uh, more there was both. both. Because, uh, because I did it in lockdown, like if you look through the translation, there's a lot of crosses because people were dying. So people were grieving, people had lost people. Um, so there's all sorts of things in there. So basically I did it as a way, it was. It started off being about COVID and the pandemic and so on. And then gradually, gradually, as we've come out of lockdown, it's like, okay, well, how how is this different? And in some cases I did um, one of someone in lockdown that I did over the phone. And then when we came out of lockdown, I did another one um, to right. see the difference. And in the exhibition, I'll be having those two together because they're, they're done by, you know, they're by the same person, um, just to see the difference. So this is going to be an exhibition? Yes, I'm going to have a couple of shows. I'm going to have one little show in Pimlico, a little one, and um, I plan to do 75 to 100 translations of various sizes and have a show in November. Okay. 
and in um, the same place no 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 in a bigger place and then i'm very open to finding a gallery that is much bigger in order you know Invitate, to, to, yeah. to, to do a really a really nice big one who possibly has a good database and stuff like that because uh, and you told me also that you are working with a charity yeah. that works with uh, children in Africa. Yeah, that's right. Tell me about that's that. Right. So uh, the great thing with doing this, and especially when people started to move away from the pandemic and they were talking about Reiki or they were talking about a love affair or something like this, I thought, hold on a minute. I could actually, um, you know, you hear... I donate to this and donate to that. So I haven't got much money to donate, but I thought this is a great way of my donating something, you know, and being able to give 100% proceeds to that charity and also bring awareness to charity yes. through this translation. So um, some friends of mine had been to this Gap Kenya and I'd seen them post some pictures and I'm like, oh my God, that looks so great, that looks so great. So I called up that girl and I said, what do you think? Do you think if I called them, you know, they might like it? She said, call them, I think they'd like it. So I did get in touch and I did speak to Gail, Gail Woods, um, who's the lady that she and her husband went to Mombasa, saw the street kids and then never left. They're like, we're gonna spend at least six months of wow, the year in this so place, beautiful. it's amazing. So we spoke and I told her, look, this is what I've been doing with the translations, but I think it would be fantastic if you could send me an audio, five minute audio, telling me um, about Gap Kenya, about how it started and about the kids and everything. And she said, great, I'll do that. So then I had that, so I took that to the studio <laughs> and um, that piece is um, 200 and, I can't remember exactly, but it's about 208 centimetres long. So it's long, 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 wow. long. Wow. And, um, you know, quite deep, but it's wow. long, right? And uh, basically I just put, played the audio and then I literally did what I did here to what she said. And I'm so pleased with it. And she loves it. And she's given me a review for it. And I've said to her, I keep the original to show, but what, I, what I've said to her is, you have all rights to the image. So you can chop it up at different parts and use that. Um, you can use it for merchandising or something like that. Now, obviously they haven't got a lot of money, so they can find maybe some sponsors through this art, one thing or another. I also, because I have a Wix website, have been told that I can put a little donate button yes. on my thing. Of course, so you that can bring awareness exactly, both to exactly, you to them and exactly, them to you. Exactly. It's kind of exactly, a collaboration, right? Exactly, exactly. So that's what I thought. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite good at hustling and networking and stuff. But things don't always come to fruition. No, you know? I, mean, I wasn't giving up. Like, <laughs> no. I'm going to ask her one but, more time, right? But if you follow your instinct, yes. they, it, most of times it, it guides you well. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And the other good thing that has transpired, right, is I can sometimes be very much into me. Me, 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 me. I've got this going on. I've got that going. Poor me. I've well, got we this. Are all like whatever, that. right? And my work up until the translations was all about me, my feelings, my experiences, my emotions, my intuitions, my this, my that, my the other, right? But what I found from this as a wanting to reach out and give something yeah. to somebody Perfect. through For my this testing, era we are starting. I really connect. So when I take this away, you know, I'm like, okay, look at Carla. Right? You really want to describe how, the other And person. this is how I get. So I don't just bosh something out, if that's yeah. the right word. It's a word I don't usually use, but you know, it's uh, it's really thought about and it connects me to you even, I'm not with you, you know, just from this experience. Yeah. And uh, one you day- You are using now your art as a bridge and not only as an uh, to to build your own yeah island, absolutely one hundred percent and the other really nice thing is is that um, and that's why I have been um, you know giving the, uh, the the coloured one so they get the black and white one immediately after the phone call or after we do it in person and then when I've painted it 
I send them a copy of that. So if they wanted, they could print it out. It's up to them. They don't have to buy prints from me or anything. They can do it. I might sign it now that I remember. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It might be a good idea to sign my work. Exactly. You, be on, you know what I mean? Before letting it go. Yeah, before letting it go. But um, but but also what it offers people, which which is unusual, is to basically collaborate in an artistic process where there's an exhibition. So they are part of an exhibition. I'm also going to do a documentary. So I've started getting footage for a documentary as well as a book. Great. So, you know, and then Great. people as well, I've said you can be as visible or anonymous as you like. So some people have said, oh, no, I don't even want to put my name. I just put the letter. And other people have said, no, I want to be seen. <laughs> I want to be seen. And uh, you can tell my story and I want to tell my story. And then also because of technology, which is wonderful, in lockdown, I started thinking, oh, God, I started thinking about people I hadn't seen for 35 years in India, in Belgium, in Florida, and here. And I started calling them for free. And so I've done translations for them as well. So it's not even a UK thing. Yes, it's a it's wealth an international thing. thing. Yeah. And then um, my idea is in the show to have um, people talk in their own languages, either on their story or in the review. Well, next time we can whatever. do a translation yeah. and I'll talk to you in Spanish. Yeah. So you can get the yeah. vibration. Yeah. You can yeah. get the yeah. the meaning because of yes, the energy. Yes, absolutely. That's a great. And the other, just quickly, the last, the last thing I will say is that I did one for myself because I thought, why not just do one for yourself, you know? So I did the five minutes. It was so telling. I would never have known that, A, I was sitting on the fence. That's an English expression, do you know? Yeah. Sitting on the fence. And not just sitting on the fence, but there was this little figure holding up the fence with me on it. And I never would have known that had I not just quickly done a five-minute translation. So it's very cathartic. So I see this as a really good tool well, to teaching people how to do it for themselves and also to do it for other people because they get out of themselves. Yes. And they think about someone else. That's beautiful. Nice, Drawing so. has been always used um, psychologically to get into the psyche of people and, and help them to understand themselves yeah. better. Yeah. So what you're doing, yeah. it's a very beautiful way to connect that more um, medical stuff yeah. with yeah. a very artistic, natural, uh, more organic idea. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. I just would like to ask you to, to finish this interview in the best way possible. What would you recommend to anyone that feels stuck in their process to, to create? As far as art or anything creative? Mm, anything, anything creative, creative. But yes, or maybe as far as art, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's I a good question. Yeah. It is a very good question. I think um, things can't be forced. So I've had periods where I've like, oh, I've definitely got, I should, I should do some art. Look, you haven't done any art for this long. You haven't mm -hmm, written anything mm -hmm. for this long. That what, voice. what is the matter with you? You know, oh, you're going down a rabbit hole. La, la, la. And uh, sometimes it's just a case of waiting to be ready to come out again. And I think some of those places, I just speak for myself, where I go. You know, I used to think it was really, you know, unpleasant and so on. But then when I kind of got a bit more accepting and, and said to myself, but you know, you always get out. Mm. And when you get out, you're always full of life and brand new ideas. It's almost like a little holding place. You know, sometimes we can get caught up in the world and we lose ourselves and forget who we really are. There's nothing like a little bit of solitude. So allow a yourself bit of to rest time. from yourself, even to rest from your own need to be, to force things or being productive in a classical way. Yeah, I think, I think one just has to be ready, you know, and not, and not to force something. Obviously, you know, a nice walk breaths, a nice bar, a nice shower, Yeah, you know, it would be great. I mean, you know, you're talking about the sea. When I get in the bath and I put my head into that water, it's like bliss. 
it's like my little god place. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, oh! It is. To remember yourself. To remember yourself. Because sometimes in the world, I forget myself. I forget who the hell I am, what I'm doing. You know? So that little holding place where perhaps we rest and we're not creating. Just stay in that little place because something great's going to happen. Don't worry. Perfect. That's a beautiful <laughs> way to say thank you. Thank uh, you. To, to finish of this beautiful conversation i i can't i can't thank you enough i can't thank you enough Carla. you have been so generous and lovely and loving oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you it was really really inspiring thank you so Carla, much thank you you're inspiring <laughs> and see you soon yes. in our next episode of metralla rosa <laughs> so much for staying with us this far. I hope you enjoy that. And if that's the case, I would like to suggest you to enjoy the rest of our content. Also, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notifications every time we share a new episode with all of you.